10 years ago, there was 7,500 Chinook in this system, and now there's 100. This area in particular has been a hotbed for Chinook salmon, which are under threat both in the lower Fraser and the upper pit area where we are here. Um, and it's a major cultural symbol and icon for KT First Nation, whose traditional territory we're on right now. If we don't do something now to protect and conserve what little salmon we have left, one day there's, there's not going to be any. We know salmon are at risk. We're seeing the spawning numbers are not good. They're not where they have been historically. And we know that salmon are such an important piece of the ecosystem. The Chinook salmon are a key food source for the southern resident killer whales. By doing the watershed restoration projects, we're actually able to give back to the communities that we rely on so heavily. When we're able to use the science that we've done to identify the most impactful areas and bring that support to these communities on the ground, that's when magic happens. Mm -hmm.